Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in page in Kartra. So what is an opt-in page? When you go to a website and they want to add you to your email list, what they do is they'll send you to an opt-in page. Here, let me show you an example. We'll just go to my website here, Clever Dough Cakes, for example. Okay, so this is my cake decorating site, and you can see how on the main page here, this is considered an opt-in page, where you go to the opt-in page and there is a gift that people can download for free when they give me their email address so that I can send them the link to the gift. And that then adds that person to my email list so that I can build a connection and then over time try and uh, encourage them to invest in my products to help them achieve their goals. So today I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in page. This one is not an ideal one because this is really my home page. I just happen to have an opt-in on it. When you want to create an opt-in page for the purpose of building your email list, you really want to get rid of all of the distractions. So you can see on here we've got a header, we've got the home button, free gifts, products, blog, login, how to share it, and so on. And then down the page, places they can connect and check out other things that are in relation to my cake decorating channel and so on and so this page is more of a presentation page it's a good page to have as a first place for people to kind of test the waters with your website but it's not a great place to build your email list so instead what you want to do is you want to go to a specific opt-in page like this one so this is a free opt-in page and you can see how there's nothing really to distract the viewer from seeing where they're going, right? All that is on this page is a reason for them to opt in, what they're getting, and where to give me their information. So on this page you can see I've got to put in their email address. You can also add their first name as well. I wouldn't add much more than that because the more things that people have to fill in, the less likely they are to want to opt into your email list. And the program that I'm using to create this particular page is called Kartra. So today I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in page on Kartra. And I'm going to create a template that you can use as well. Okay, so in this case, the way that I've got it set up is because I also want to make sure that people do have to agree to the fact that I will be emailing them the link for the download so that I can add them to my list and continue the communication with follow-up emails. I need them to agree that that is okay. And so they have to click this box, and when they do, then you can see how the, the button appears to show them where to go next. So let me just quickly walk through what is on this opt-in page and why you want these specific things. And then we're going to go inside of Kartra, and I'm going to show you how to build it. And I'm also going to create a template that you can use. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to keep it nice and quick for you. So on this page, what we want is a header and a subheader. In this particular version, because I've got a test running, one is with the header on top and the subheader underneath, and one is with the subheader on top and the header underneath. Again, the best way to build a website, to drive traffic to your website so that you can build your own email list and therefore create more sales down the road and create that long-term relationship with your customers is to create something of value for them. And so the header and the subheader, their only purpose is to show your prospects what they're going to get if they decide to join your email list. And so you want your header and your subheader to be completely focused on the end result, the end benefit to your prospect. You don't want it to be about bullet points about how great, in this case, this is a cake decorating book, right? So I wouldn't want it to be about how, how lovely the images are, how fabulous the cakes are, how nice my decorating skills are, because my prospects are not really interested in my talents. That would be more appropriate if somebody wanted to purchase a cake from me, right? But my site is about helping bakers do their own cakes. So they're interested in the end result of what is best for them. So on this page, the main benefit of this book is that inside of it, I have a recipe for a homemade marshmallow fondant, you can see that right here, that you can make within seven minutes. So this is very specific end result that my bakers are interested in. They want to create their own homemade fondant because, first of all, store-bought fondants 
it doesn't taste very good, and it's really expensive, but it's great for decorating with. So they want to find a recipe of how they can make their own fondant for really, really cheap, and that it tastes really good, so that if they're making cakes for their friends and family, or if they're selling cakes that they decorate, people don't have to peel off the fondant because it's disgusting, right? They actually want to eat it. So that's the main key benefit for this option page. So my subhead at the top, again, I have this running with two variations because you want to test and you're simply going to see what's going to work best based on your test results. And Kartra lets me do that, lets me just randomly, people go to this link um, and it will randomly choose whether it shows this page or the one where these two are swapped around. And then I can I can test that. So this one, say goodbye to expensive. So one of the pain points, yucky, another pain point, store bought, which is really how they normally would get it, fondant forever. So that the benefit is that they never have to use a yucky expensive fondant ever again if they decide to ask me for this book. So instead of the pain points, would you want to point out, not to make them feel bad, but to make them understand that you understand their problem and that you have a solution for it, is the free ebook, so it's taken away the risk, it's free, it doesn't cost them anything, and in it they can discover how to make their own yummy, so not yucky, but yummy, homemade, so cheaper, fondant recipe in seven minutes, so it's fast too. And then I just ask them, and this is a little bit of neurotech, um, or sorry, not neurotech, neurolinguistic um, programming, sorry, losing my words there. Where would you like me to send your free floral wedding cakes ebook? Okay, so the part here that is working on their subconscious level is I'm not saying, would you like this, which is a question, a yes or no question. We don't want to give prospects a yes or no question because then they can say no. So what we want to do, it's like it's like when you're training your children and you want them to do some chores around the house. So instead of saying, would you please go and do the dishes, which is kind of a, can you do the dishes? They can say yes or no. They won't like it if they say no, but you're literally giving them the choice of a yes or no. Um, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. So instead, with our kids, what we do is we say, okay, sweetheart, look, we got two things that need to get done. I'm going to do one, you're going to do one. Which would you like to do, the dishes or the vacuum? And suddenly, psychologically, they know they don't have a choice, but it doesn't feel bad because you've given them another choice, which makes them feel in control. Now they get to choose which one do they like doing better, the dishes or the vacuuming, because they know that I'm going to do the other. So it's giving them a choice. So you want to give your prospects a, two positive choices that work in your favor as well, of course, in their favor. You have to have their benefits in mind at all times because if you're not serving your members, you're going to lose them and they're going to spread negative words around about what you're doing. The best way to grow your business is to genuinely want to authentically help them and then serve them the best way that you can. And using those parenting skills, just like with your child, you want to prepare your child to live on their own and know how to do the dishes and do the vacuuming. So you need to teach them that in a way that doesn't build up a wall. So where would you like me to send them? So I've already assumed they want it. Now I'm just asking them where did you want me to send it, which also suggests the fact that I'm going to be emailing them. Therefore, they're already pre-set up with the idea that they are going to end up on my email list and that I am going to be able to communicate them continuing moving forward. So, and then I write down again under here, homemade marshmallow fondant recipe is inside, and that is because my book, I hadn't updated the book yet. I intend to have just the, the recipe for them eventually. I just didn't have time to do that yet. But it is inside of this book, which is a wedding cake that I made, and I showed them how to make their flowers and how to make the fondant and how to decorate everything. And... But because I'm specifically focusing on the homemade marshmallow fondant, which is the biggest benefit I can give to my members, I just did a little reminder that it looks like this, and you can see the fondant on there, but that's where you're going to get it. It's inside of this. And I also did an extra picture here. This is actually my thumbnail from a YouTube channel where I show them how to make this fondant. 
reminding them of what they're getting, what the benefit is. And you can see here I am with my hand um, kneading the fondant dough so that they can see that it's homemade. And again, a little reminder that it's inside with an arrow, which is telling them where to go. That all they have to do is pop their email address in, agree to the fact that they're going to receive emails from me, and then they click send me. And again, on the button here, you can say, yes, send me my free ebook. So they've already took it, taken ownership that it's their free ebook, and they're saying yes. So these are all little subconscious things that you can do because if you're asking them, would you like me to send this to you, you're taking away your confidence level. They don't have as much confidence in you. They, they want direction. Otherwise, they wouldn't be looking for this. They want someone to direct them, to teach them. So it's using those things. And then I have underneath here, I hate spam as much as you do. And your data will never be shared or sold. Because that's the main worry that people have when they're being put on an email list is, is somebody going to sell my email? Am I going to get all these emails I don't want? And of course not. A good business owner would never do that because it does not benefit your business to not treat your customers well. So anyway, this is a very simple opt-in page, but it's very effective. And I am going to show you how to build that inside of Kartra. So this is my Kartra membership site, which is saved my businesses. My online businesses were about to crash because all the pieces, you can see on the side here, the products, communications, pages, forms, memberships, my videos, calendars, my help desks, my campaigns, integrations, my agency, affiliate promotions. I had all of these things on different platforms all over the place and they didn't communicate with each other very well at all and it took me years literally over a decade of struggle trying to get everything to communicate with each other until Kartra was released in beta and I jumped on board with Kartra absolutely love it to pieces and have all of my websites on here. I am moving over to Groove Pages and I'll share why a little later on um, but this one has my heart. I love Kartra. It saved my business. So I want you to have the ability to check both out and see which is going to work best for you. And I made a special video about that for you, but I'll share that in a little bit. So what we're going to do is after you log into Kartra, so you can see what your, your login page looks like. This actually shows you, you know, how many sales, how many subscriptions. As you can see, it's a little bit down the low end at the moment, but that's because I'm, I'm working on something else right now which is fine. You can see your broadcasts, what emails you've sent out, the open rates, the click-throughs, and so on. You can see your conversions, and if you had any calendar events, you can see that down there. So that's how that works. And um, up here on the, on the left-hand side for you, this is what we want to click on, My Pages. And then you'll see on the My Pages page that you've got little thumbnails of all the different pages. So I've got I've got lots and lots of pages here in Kartra. And you can see here's an opt-in, and that's a download page. Um, this is an opt-in. This is an opt-in. So you can see there's all these different pages. Download page, thank you pages, uh, a sales page. So all these ones in here. We are going to create a page from scratch with an opt-in based on this setup, which is the simplest setup and the most effective setup that you can do for your website to drive traffic and build your email list. So we are going to, on this button down here, you can see this, I have these little red tabs in the way because I've been working on these different projects and Kartra is lovely that they actually put these so that as you're working on a project you can go through and check them off. But underneath here is a little plus and we're going to click on that to add a page. And then Kartra gives us the choice to create a blank canvas that we populate ourselves or we can use pre-done ones. So let me just quickly show you a couple of pre-done ones and then we are going to create a blank canvas, okay? So because we're talking about squeeze pages or opt-in pages, which is a squeeze page, we're going to have a look at some of those. You can see there are different ones here. There are thank you pages, long sales pages, coming soon pages, product launches, product reviews, webinar registration, checkout pages, 404 pages, that's another video I'll do for you in the future where I'll teach you what to put on your 404 error page to help drive those unfound um, web pages on your site to drive those prospects into a page that's going to help them. 
upsell pages, member login pages, live event pages, affiliate pages, legal pages, blog posts, blog homes, um, personal branding. So we've got all these ones, but we're just going to look at squeeze pages. So here are a couple of pre-done squeeze pages. So you can see this one here, if we preview it, this page has an image of either yourself or someone representing your business with an image of what they're going to get. In this case, I've just put a little placeholder here. This one has a place where you can put a video talking about what it is that your prospect is going to get. More, They can click on and learn more, but I don't like driving them to another page. If they've already landed, I like giving them whatever they need as concise as possible in that page so we're not distracting them. Because every time you send them to a different page, you have a chance of losing them. So you don't want to do that. Um, what their customers are saying, testimonials are great. So on this page, I could totally put down here a couple of testimonials. Enough to make them excited, not too many to distract them. And then here's their subscribe. So this is a great page. The one thing I don't like about it is that, so this whole page, they wouldn't see where to opt in on that first above the fold. It's called above the fold in the newspaper world. Remember how newspapers would be all folded together and then it would be folded in half, right? And the top part that you would see is called above the fold because that's where it was above the fold and you could see it. If it didn't grab your attention, it didn't matter what was underneath the fold or inside the newspaper, you wouldn't pick up the paper. But if above the fold was interesting, same on your website, if above the scroll rather than the fold is interesting, then you've captured your lead and they're going to take action. So you really want to make sure that on your opt-in pages, wherever possible, you do not have to ask your members to scroll down or to go to another page to find a place to sign up or a button to sign up. Okay, so heading back over here. So that's one of the things that I wouldn't use this one for is because it's way down there. And I'm asking people to have to do too much to get them interested. Okay, so we're going to cancel that one, and we're going to add a page again. I didn't have to go all the way back. I just pressed the wrong button there. So this one, preview, and then you can see this one. So again, reason to subscribe, and then here is their opt-in. So that is great. It's above the fold. And then they talk about the features that we are offering. And again, I don't like to focus on features. Let's talk about a bike, for example. The features would be that it's got a pedal got a handlebar, it's got the lights on the front and the back, it's got two wheels. Those are features. People are not, generally speaking, very interested in the features. They like to know that they're there, but they want to know what the features are going to benefit them for. Like, so why are those features important? So the pedals, the benefit could be that the pedals are so easy. So the feature is that the pedals are really easy. The benefit is that they're so easy to move that you feel like you're literally floating on air as you're riding the bike, right? The handlebars. The handlebars are there to steer the bike, right? The benefit will be it is such smooth steering and it's so comfortable that you can't wait to get outside and hop on your bike because it feels so great and you feel free and in control. So you're thinking about the end result for your members. But this is where you would list bullet points of what the features are and then this description would tell them why that feature is important to them. And then they've got some more information down here. And this is just a reminder again to sign up. So this button would open this opt-in as a little pop-up. Okay? And this is how you go back to choices. All right, so those were two examples of pre-done squeeze pages and again inside Kartra when you join Kartra then you can use these pre-done ones or you can create one from scratch so we are going to create one from scratch so that we can make it look like this and we're going to launch the builder and I am just going to call this one um, opt-in page from um, opt-in page template and I'm going to just call it Clever Joe so that you can, because I'm going to make this available for you to use once you're setting up your Kartra. Okay, and I'm going to just put this in no particular category right now and create it. So I'm just going to populate that and we're going to go right inside the builder. So it's launched the builder. Love these little cogs, they're adorable. 
Kartra is a little slow, which is one of the reasons I'm moving over to Groove Pages. Um, but honestly, it's faster than anything else that you've got it there. So it's awesome. Plus, Groove Pages is still in beta, and Kartra is fully functional. So I love it. And I love how friendly everything is. This one is, yeah, it's got my heart. It's got my heart. So here is your page. This is where you're going to put templates in. So let's have a look. We want a place for text at the top. Now, this particular layout is because my original page is way before I started with Kartra. It was more like a blog style, so it had some color on the side. We don't need that. So in our th template that we're going to create for you today, we're not going to put the sides on. You could always do that if you wanted to. But we really want to just focus on this white space in the middle here. This is what's going to do the action for you. So this is what we're going to change. So when you come in here, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put sections in. And we're going to put some empty sections in. So one on the top, that is going to be for this area here. Then this one, now let's just make this a, sing a single one because normally you would only need one image. The only reason I have two images here is because I'm showing them this particular benefit that's inside of the book. But this could have been set up as one single image. So we're just going to have a tab here and a tab there, or a column rather, here and a column there. So the next block we're going to go, we need to do still another empty block underneath. Okay, so now we've got one, two blocks. See that? One, two blocks. And then, so we've got the top block here and this block here. We're going to separate that in a second. And then I just have a footer at the bottom here. So now we're going to go back and find footers. And let's see here. I thought I saw it. Menus. No, I don't want a menu at the top. I want a footer at the bottom. Footers. Okay. And we're just going to do a very basic footer. I will actually put in one of mine in here for you because I've already sorted out how it's going to work best for you. So I'm going to pop that in. And then we're just going to adjust the information. Now you can see it put it in the center. I want it down below. So I'm actually going to move this. Click on there. You can see this little? We're going to move it and we're going to move it down here. Done. Okay. So now we've got one space, two space. So one space, two space. And then the footer at the bottom. The footer at the bottom. I'm going to take this one out because this one you don't need this on yours. And I'm going to edit this to say something that's more relevant to you. So we're just going to say business name and then the year. So you put the number of the year, so 2020, for example. And you want to update that every year so that when people come to your website in 10 years from now, they're not like, wow, it's from 2020. It should be from 2030, right? So we want to make sure you update that. And the nice thing is that Kartra actually lets you set up your footer for your business so that you can just pull it in from other ones so you don't have to constantly update it and it's part of your website platform so you can go into the main footer for your website platform update the year and it will update it across all of the pages which is an awesome feature so we'll, we'll talk about those kind of things in another video but I just wanted to set up a template for you here and I have over here so I have a blog privacy policy and terms of conditions you want to make sure you have a page terms of conditions and you would link that to here you want to make sure you have a page with your privacy policy and link that there. I'm actually going to remove the blog one because, again, if it's an opt-in page, I don't want to distract my, my potential customers by sending them somewhere else. I want to keep them on this page. Um, I realize that I would be sending them to a privacy policy or the terms of condition, but those are things that if they're interested, they really do need to be able to look up. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for those ones. Okay, so the footer is in place, and I'm just going to get rid of this box there so that it's nice and small for you. So up here, you see what I did? I moved it over to columns. Columns lets you see the full thing, and I can show the columns here. Right now I have nothing in here, so it's just empty spaces, but you'll see in a minute. See how it's, it's highlighted? This is a whole column. Components are the little pieces, so it's this little box here in yellow. Or these pieces over here, these ones, okay? And on the side is where you work within your columns here. Okay, so now we're going to head back over to components. 
So we need to have, in this top one, we want to have two text areas for your header and your footer. So, go to text, and we're going to put in, oh, I forgot, I have to first, first we have to put in our columns in our empty space. So we're going to do a column in here. See how it, it highlights where you can put it? When it's green, you can let go, and it goes in there. And we're going to do another one. So two of them. Okay. Then, <clears throat> now we can go back to text. So you can see here how there are two components in, so this is a column, in there. Okay, so we're going to take the text, and there. One goes in there, and one goes in there. Okay. Now, <clears throat> This is where we're going to put in our header and our footer, our subheader. So in here, we're going to go text edit, and we're going to call this the header. And so that you have an idea of what to write in your header, I'm going to say, let's have a look here. So, free ebook, discover how to make your own in just, okay, so let's say, here again, text, header. So, what they're going to get, free ebook, it could be whatever it is that you're giving away. The ebook or the, the gift that they're going to be opting in for is going to have a benefit for them. So, let's say, learn, just get this way, learn how to action, learn how to action, how to make marshmallow fondant specific lesson. I'll call it that for you. So like learn how to make homemade marshmallow fondant. Benefit. That is and then benefit. So in my case yummy. Easy, right? Ex inexpensive. Whatever your benefit is, end result benefit. That is end result benefit in end result time frame. Now you don't always have to have a specific time frame. So in this one I have discover how to make your own yummy homemade fondant, right? In just seven minutes. The beautiful thing about in just seven minutes is people are busy and they want to be able to do something really fast. So if you can add a time frame in, that is absolutely wonderful. That will add to it. So now you've got two key benefits. First of all, it's really quick and it's yummy. And up here is my second benefit. It's not going to be, and again, focusing on their pain points, expensive or yucky, right? So this is going to be our main one. So let's change. I'm going to highlight all of it and we're going to change the size of this. Okay, so we're going to change this to like there. And we're going to change it to be centered. And again, you're going to get access to this template so you can just fill it in. And you would take away the word header. Let me just put here. Okay, let's have a look in here. Let me just highlight this for you. So that it's obvious to you that you want to remove that. Okay. Free book. And this is what the book is. Learn how to action to the specific lesson. Oh, I'll get rid of this. Or actually, I will keep that in so that you have an idea. Learn how to. That is, and then end result, benefit, in, and then the end result, time frame. And then you can have an exclamation mark, dots, whatever's going to be appropriate for you. Okay, so that's that one. Then you'll also see here that I highlighted this particular, so the main key benefit, I highlighted in a different color that matches my website, my website design, right? That's this purpley pink color. You don't have to do that, but what you can do is highlight your end result benefit to grab their attention, right? So that they know they are going to get this benefit. Then this is going to be your subhead, okay? So subheader, 
and again I am going to highlight that for you just so that you know to remove the word <laughs> and okay you know what I will do if I do everything that is in yellow I will highlight it yellow and then you'll know to, to get rid of that okay so everything that is in yellow you need to either adjust or remove. There we go. See how easy that is? Okay, so now we're going to go into this block. And I'll worry about highlighting afterwards. So the subheader. So we've got say goodbye to expensive, yucky, store-bought fondant forever. So what we really want to do here is in this subheader, what we want to do is focus on taking their pain point and changing it. So Say goodbye is a good one. Goodbye to, and then say goodbye to Prospects Pain Point and end result benefit. And we'll say get end result benefit. And again, you can change this all around. Let's have a look how we have it here. So say goodbye to this forever. Okay, so we could do that and change this to forever, exclamation mark. And you know what? We'll just do this. We'll do this one again. Copy. And we'll do this. Paste. Okay. We'll add two pain points that they know that they're going to get rid of when they get this end result. And now we are going to, okay, we're going to center this and we're going to change the size and change it to that. And we can maybe put it on two lines. So this one we're going to get rid of. We can get rid of that. So this would be the top of your website. Then under here, and we can change this size so that it fits nicer. It's nice if you have just two lines maximum three if necessary, but if you had three on this, you'd want this in one. <clears throat> so this one, we could actually change the size and we'll go to 0.80 and then we'll just do that. So when they come to your page, they're going to see, they get this free thing, you've listed what it is, free ebook, free webinar, free video, whatever it is. What is it going to do for them? Learn how to action specific lesson, that is end result benefit in the end result time frame. Okay, um, and then our subheader is just going to really focus in on the pain points that they are going to avoid now by taking action. So say goodbye to pain point and get pain, uh, and oh, and we'll get rid of this get then obviously because we changed the perspective. So we'll change that and that forever. So we're going to get say goodbye to this pain point and that pain point forever. Okay, now how are they going to do this? So now we want to go back over here and we're going to put in two columns so that we have a picture and we have our opt-in. So we're going to go back to components and then in this space we're going to put in our column and we want 50-50. So this one's going to go in here, 50-50. And we go back <clears throat> and we're going to choose. The first one is going to be an image. So we're going to have an image in here. You could have an image or you could have a video. If you have a video, then you can pop that in. And there are a couple of different versions of what the box around the video would look like. If we pop that in there, let me show you. So you can have either a video and it will play your video right in that player or a picture of your image. So I can leave both of those in there for you and if that is the case then you might have it the other way around where let's just the page doesn't want to move okay let's move that up there okay so we have a picture and a video but you really want to do one or the other okay but I'm going to keep them both in there so that all you have to do is you come in here and see this little edit you'd go into there and then image no image selected, you upload an image, okay? And you can upload your own images or you can look for an image. So for example, mountains. Okay, and so we would search, just press enter, search for mountains, we choose a mountain. 
select it, confirm, and apply. Boom, we've got a mountain in there. Then if we went down to this one, so let's close this, and we go to this one, edit, we'll get a, you can do a Kartra video that's that you've uploaded to your Kartra site, or you can get one from YouTube or Wistia or Vimeo. So let's just do YouTube for example. So let me quickly grab YouTube. And I'll grab one of mine just so you can see what it looks like. And actually, you know what I'm going to do for you, just to make it even nicer for you, since I want you to really take a look at Kartra and Groove Pages. I've uploaded a special video for you to help you figure out which one. So let's grab that link. So we're going to go here. You don't need to play it right now. And we're going to just grab that link. Copy that. Okay, and then we're going to head over here. We're going to put that link in here. And then you can choose to autoplay or not. And if you autoplay, it will start playing muted so that if people are at work or whatever and they're looking at it, it's not going to suddenly blare. Um, I prefer not to and just let them do it themselves. And again, it's up to testing. What's going to work best is what's going to work best for you. So you could try having duplicate pages and you could try one that autoplays and one that doesn't. And see how it, it loads it right in there. Like I can literally play it right on there on this site. So I'll leave this in here for you so that you can watch that. Okay, and over here is where we're going to put our opt-in form. So now we're going to add a component and we're going to grab our opt-in form. And here's a nice simple one. Name and address. Simple. You can go down here and have a look. So this is a small one. This is a large one. So you see how it's small here and this fills up the hole. I like filling up the hole so I might use that. And then there are different colored ones here, dark or light. I like this one. I'm going to pop this one over here. Okay. And then what you would have to do is go in and edit this. And you'd have to select a form. So I have some forms that I could select. Or if you don't have one yet, then you could create a new opt-in form. And, yep, this is only a place holder. So name of the new opt-in form. So we'd have to look for it and so on. So what you'd really do is after you create this page, just leave it as a placeholder. Then you're going to go back into Kartra, create your opt-in form, come back in here, and then you'd add it in there. It's really simple, so don't worry about that. We're going to keep it as a placeholder. And then when you create your form, you can add in that little thing about, I agree to, that emails will be sent to me. It's all set up in Kartra. It's easy to do, so don't worry about that. Look at that. We did it. Here is our page. Now we want to have a look and see what it looks like. So we've got our header. We've got our subheader, we've got a picture of whatever it is that they're going to be getting, or a video explaining what they're going to be getting. Again, if you create a video, you want it to really focus on talking about their pain points, but how your product is going to help them change their pain into pleasure. Okay, you're going to change their situation where they're stuck into finding a way to be unstuck. That's what you're doing with your product, and that's how you're going to build your email list. And then we've got our opt-in form so that they can send you their email. And then in your Kartra system, you will have an email sequence set up. And I will do another video later showing you how to create this engagement with your prospect. And But that form is what you need to start building your email list. And then on the bottom here, we just have your copyright, your um, business year, the business name, all rights reserved, and then we've got a link to your privacy policy and your terms of conditions so that they can make sure that you're you're a good business, you're going to take care of them, you're not going to sell their email, you're going to be good, and what is expected of them as well. And that's it, so let's have a look at what this looks like that we're going to preview. Okay, so it's going to just quickly generate the preview page for us. You're going to love Kartra. It, it is honestly my favorite at the moment, Groove Pages, I'm still just learning. So it's not my favorite yet, but it probably will be my favorite because the guy who co-founded Kartra is the one who founded Groove Pages, and he's amazing. Okay, we're going to open the preview. Look at this. See? So it's above the fold, right? Because this would either switch to that. Above the fold. Now there's some space here, so we can get rid of that space. You can see you've got your header, your subheader, picture of what they're getting and where to put their information in. So let's have a look and see what is this space here. And we can go in here and edit this. And look, it's got padding. I don't want any padding. I'm going to get rid of that. And I don't even want any padding on the bottom. So we're going to apply that. Okay. 
So that is move that. And then this one, I'm also going to change. The bottom is set to 40, which is a bit much. I'm going to change that to 20. And the top, let's have a look here. Oh, we realize it here. Top actually is quite nice. So I'm going to leave that. But I'm going to change the bottom to 20, and let's see how that goes. Okay, so now we're going to do another preview. Okay. Because we really want to make it as easy as possible for our prospects. They don't have to scroll anywhere. They don't have to go anywhere. They can just get what they want. Look at that. That's beautiful. So again, you could change the size of the image so that, because right now the size is kind of continuing down below, right? So you could change the size, which you can do right here. See this? Resize, and you could adjust it. And then you can also move it in here. And under Style, it's on the left right now. You could center it, and then it's centered. See that? So that's nice. So now if we refresh that preview, it's always good to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a nice green smoothie, which I actually created a video about the green smoothie I make on my channel. All right. So when you're waiting for the cogs to do their thing. So have a look at this. So the, the picture is on the page. The, the opt-in buttons are on the page. Your header, everything is in one page. It's so simple, but so effective. Start with this. Then, if you want to make things super pretty, you can test that later. But start with the basics and focus on the benefits. Why do your prospects want to be on your email list? What is in it for them? Not what is in it for you. Okay? If you provide what is in it for them, you automatically will get what is in it for you. Now, here is a really important thing when it comes to building your pages. Before you return to the dashboard, even if you were to click return to the dashboard, look what happens. See this? It's got this exclamation mark saying, are you sure you wish to return to the dashboard? Like all pending changes will be lost, right? We don't want to just go back because everything we've just created would be lost and canceled. Luckily, Karcher put this little reminder in here for you. Let's cancel that. Over to actions. We want to save progress. If you really like this page and you want to use it again, you could save this as a favorite. And you want to publish it live when it's ready. So you could save the progress, first of all. If you know that it's ready to go live, you could just go live. But it's always good to save your progress and then check it. Right, so it's been saved. So now if we left, we could come back in and keep working on it. It's not published live anywhere. But it's in our Kartra system, so we can work on it. When we are ready for it to go live, then we publish live. This is always really exciting. And then it's going to give us a place where we can change the link. So you can get the page code. So let's say you have a WordPress site and you want to just pop this on your WordPress site. You can grab the page code, right? So you type, you copy that and put it in your page code. But if you're not a coder, you just grab the link and look. So this, it will automatically generate a link for you. So Kartra.com with whatever your Kartra name is in front of it. Um, the page, and then it's just a random gobbledygook of numbers and letters to your page link. But you can personalize this if you have custom domains, and you can choose. So in my case, I could have it on cleverdo.com, cleverdocakes.com, cleverdokids.com. You would choose one of those, and then you can create. So this one could be called um, opt-in, and let's call it template, right? For example opt-in template. So now it looks much nicer. Now it's my site, not Kartra. Now it's cleverdo.com forward slash opt-in template, right? And you know what? I will actually leave this here so that you can go to that page. So you would grab that copy and you'd head over here. So right now it's got app, Kartra.com page. Like it's, it's yucky, right? So we put that in instead. Nice and clean. It's got your name and here it is. It's done. It's a little bit smaller. It's just because my page isn't at full percent here. So let's just change that. 90. There, at a 100%. This is what it looks like at 100%. There, look at that. And there is your page with a nice name. See how simple that was? Okay, so we'll close that. And now, so we have published it. We know it's live because we've tested the link. It is live. So now we know it is safe to return to the dashboard. This reminder comes up, which is fabulous. We can ignore it this time because we know it's been saved right there, and we can exit. Here we go. 
And now here it is. And you can have a look at it, preview it. Oh, it still has an old one in there. It takes Kartra a little bit to update, so they just pop in one of their templates as a picture. So in a couple of minutes, then when I click on this preview, oh, look how quick that is. That's perfect. Now you can see a preview of what your page looks like. And that's handy if you're trying to remember which page looks like what. But look at that. So that is the page for you. Okay, so that's it. Now it's on your pages. And then from here, you have choices to get the code link, uh, to get the code or the link, to edit it, to clone it, which makes your life so much easier, and uh, to delete it if you no longer need it. But don't delete unless you're absolutely sure you know you want to delete. That's it. So I'm going to create this as a special template that you can just come right in, open it up, and just add your information instead. And if when you have a look at the link in my description below, I'll have a link to join Kartra through my affiliate link, which means if you join Kartra, or when you join Kartra, then I will be connected to that, and Kartra will give me a thank you commission at no extra cost to you at all. But in return for that, for helping support my channel here so I can support more of your stuff, I want to give you this template for free. So as soon as you are signed up with Kartra, Send me an email and I will send you this template for free. And that's it. And when you sign up, I um, actually I'll put a link in the description below of how you can do that, how you can access this work for yourself. I really hope you enjoy this. Now the next thing that you really need to be doing is to check out whether or not you want to sign up with Kartra or Groove Pages. And like I said, I've got this video here where I talk about which platform is going to be best for you. So head on over there and do that. And if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please help my channel out by giving me a like. Leave me a comment below what you're most excited about or what you, what was your biggest takeaway from today's video. Share this with a fellow entrepreneur who's getting started as well. And, and just enjoy this next video. Really watch it because I go through everything, why I love Kartra, why I, I'm really excited about the future of Groove Pages. And at the moment, if you're really quick this week, you may even get Groove Pages Lite for free. So definitely do that. And Kartra has a $1 14-day trial. So you can actually dive in and see if it's going to work for you without um, investing in it. So do that, grab the link below and check that out and then head on over here and I'll tell you the difference between the two of them. Alright, thanks and don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so that you'll know the minute my next video comes out. I'll see you over here.